Hello everyone, my name is Chris. Today we're gonna take a look at my solo queue game that I played on light this morning and I was using one of the most broken weapons in the history of the finals. The new LH1 is so easy to use, yet so deadly, you would never believe that's a thing if I were to tell you that at the end of season 2 for example. So we're gonna start at the Skyway Stadium and as you can see this weapon really needs a little warm up for it to work, but uh, this is just uh, this is just a complete disaster. I am shredding my opponents left and right without even trying. It's like um, you don't even have to control your recoil. There is no visual recoil. Developers decided to get rid of that. We are pushing out the guys that we didn't finish before. This guy is dead, and this guy is also dead. LH1 shines the brightest when you are off angling. LH1 shines the brightest when you are third party, when opponents are not looking at you, and they are far. And you would actually see in a few highlights where I absolutely dominated everyone standing like 100 meters away from them, maybe even less than that. We're gonna come upstairs, and important for us to out and then get the position of power which is gonna be on high ground, and I was like, whoa, what is that guy doing? Well, he didn't want to die, and he died. So this is an elevator cash out, and I have uh, nightmares about it, because every single time I would play tournament on Skyway Stadium, it seems like there is always a team with um, APS turret and barricades that just sits inside and gets it for free. Um, PTSD, PTSD I think I have, but like, as you can see, the weapon is just incredible weapon is great to use but it's certainly not fun to play against boom beautiful oh my god i'm making like a highlight after a highlight and this is absolutely great oh me cooked by the turret allow me a second to go grab myself a simple drink for some unnecessary reason this light decided to jump on us and then we're gonna cook up the medium unfortunately another team is coming i'm trying my absolute hardest to juke and i was able to kill um kill the person that was you know shooting me like this is this is the weakness and the power of melee weapons at the same time like the person killed me but at what cost right so as you can see my solo queue teammates are objective players and i respect that as a solo queue player it's very important to not rely on the stupidity of your teammates, but instead try to, you know, make things work on your own. Good thing that they are actually raising me. They are trying to play for the team when they can, and that's that's great. That's great. I feel like developers made a big, big mistake when they decided to do terminal attack as their main mode, and yeah. Well, we still have World Tour and it is still decent to play, but not not as we've had in like start of season 2. Like peak ranked system was start of season 1 because everyone was new and it was just very funny. And then start of season 2. And then somewhere in the middle of season 2, do you remember when they nerfed shotgun and everyone was playing heavy medium light? This was like my dream composition. Mm, dream meta setup because it's congratulating you for greatness it allows you to really shine bright in comparison with playing double heavy with double mesh double bubble double rpg and eight barricades on top of that which takes absolutely zero skill to you know um to do and a lot of players over inflated their ego overinflated their rankings because their results grew up so high but the understanding of the game mechanics didn't go up it probably even went down because you are not practicing what's necessary right so we are moving on to cash out c it's obviously really bad when you are mm, dying in a situation like this but nothing we could do about it i'm getting shot i'm trying to look for an off angle and Boom, 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 boom. It would take so much skill for me to do that in season two, in season one with LH1. Here, I just clicked. <laughs> and 
probably for casual players it's a good thing, probably for people that uh, really enjoy playing the game for like maybe an hour or two a day. Maybe they have a family, maybe they have a job, maybe they are studying at the university or school and they really don't have time to practice in aim trainers, they don't have time to learn the recoil patterns, they just want to go in and hit a few shots which was completely impossible before but now I guess I guess at that part um, developer is kind of cooked and did it very nicely. I'm just trying to find an off angle where I'm gonna be useful. This time it's gonna be on the roof, but I need to be extremely careful. Right. Replacing the glitch, going for the nade. And it's important for me not to commit that much because I understand that um, the second I do, I'm just gonna get RPG, I'm gonna get Lewis gunned, and people tend to not miss shots up close. But they absolutely miss shots when they are far, right? So this is. This is why we are abusing LH1 to its fullest potential. Oh, he actually blocked everything with swords, which is like kind of cool. I like it, I respect that. And then we just died. Happens, happens. So here we ended up in a situation where we are second place, two minutes left on the clock, and we are going to wipe. Right? So we have 12,000 in the bank, and as you can see, the pink team is going to get 23 probably, and then orange team is going to get 18 and a half. So the only thing we can do is to play for 5, for Vault 5, which is going to give us 22,000. And then after that you place it last second. And then usually people don't have enough time to rotate. They are either stuck fighting for the old cash out or they don't even need to go there. And what ends up happening as you place it last second is maybe only one team would have one slim chance at retaking it. If you're playing it properly, I don't think there is a way for you to lose. We're taking the Mega here, going for the Vault 5, and yeah, we're just gonna swing towards the Cash Out D right now. This is how you jump here, and then you jump right here, like that. You can do the same on Suspended Structures, you can do the same pretty much everywhere. The trick is to look at where you're trying to climb and it's gonna you know, do the animation. So I was trying to take the crane because I was like, maybe we're gonna get contested at 5, but in reality we didn't. And if you take a look at what's happening on the map right now, the situation completely changed, right? So instead of us being forced to get the cash in the cash out, now we actually have the chance to chill because what, what is the worst thing that's gonna happen? If we wipe, nothing happens. If 5 is gonna go into D, that might be a problem. That is going to be a big problem, right? So I will try to stop, stop it. Um, I'm definitely not doing it um, any wonders. <laughs> uh, I was like trying to shoot, trying to shoot, but yeah, unfortunately, unfortunately I died. So if they were to place the cash out last second, that would be a big, big problem for us, but they luckily didn't. And we are moving on to the next round. Second round started in a very interesting manner. We had a full fight with the enemy light. Luckily, I was able to hit a headshot, so it was a two tap. And moving on to sniping this guy. I don't even know how I saw him, but just died like that. It took me three shots to kill a person pretty much across the map without even trying my hardest. This is the strength of LH1 and I, I think developers need to revert the changes a little bit, maybe make the weapon half as overpowered as it is right now and that would be great. For some reason it feels like um, developers instead of testing things out and going for like 20 to 30 percent of initial change maximum, cranking up the thing up to the fullest and we end up in a situation where we have an LH1 like this in a game. So here I'm trying to throw the cash out away using gas barrel. If you don't know how to do that, you throw it, you catch it, and then you throw it back. And I understand that the cash out B got in first. They have more time um, already cashed out, right? So I'm gonna go there and try to intercept 
I'm gonna go there and try to look for frags. Boom, 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 boom. Can you believe a weapon like this exists where it is so easy to make insane plays like that? I mean, it's really good for the YouTube and a lot of players are gonna be convinced that this is their personal skill. This is what they deserve. Well, in reality, the second this weapon is gonna get nerfed, uh, maybe the recoil is gonna be worse. Perhaps they would add visual recoil back. All the results are gonna disappear, right? It's like the crypto bubble where it's successful for the time being and then it just turned out to be a complete disaster, right? So here I'm looking at my teammates and they are dying and they are desperately looking for help. I feel like if I were to give myself an advice right now, I would have thrown a nade, which I probably didn't. So I'm going under the stun gun and all I need to do is stun him and tap him twice. My teammates was able to make a massive, massive difference right here. So we're gonna go for the res and realistically speaking, there is no one that would be able to approach our cash out. So we're just gonna move on towards the cash out B and try to look for frags even more. Of course, if I were to play a Scream Lobby, I wouldn't do that. The most proper play on the board, on the chessboard, is to go for the next vault. But um, I am not only playing solo queue, but also I am going for some YouTube clips because it would be pretty boring to look at the game where you're just sitting in one place in the corner and not moving, right? So here we are trying to approach. Um, I don't like my positioning. Perhaps going on a crane would be a better idea right now. I never thought that this was an opportunity for me, right? So, boom, this guy is already half HP, almost one. <laughs> this guy is half. What am I even doing with this weapon? It's just, just broken, right? And I tried to do something against uh, heavy, and then I got bowed from the back. Unfortunate. Very much unfortunate. It's interesting how the heavy meta changed, and now we ended up in a situation where People would rather play M60 instead of going for the Lewis gun because the recoil difference is drastic, right? You still have shotgun as your weapon of choice, as your option of choice, but as of right now, I feel like I feel like both M60 and shotgun has the time and place, and you just need to really um, get a proper play style for it to work, right? My teammate is carrying the vault to the next cache probably he's gonna go for my res and then we're gonna place it we are first place right now and i need to coin i actually need to coin i coined but it was way too late we would have lost all the initiative i feel like i was just alt tabbing afk um not paying enough attention like this would this might have cost us the game right in the future if i wouldn't coin the last millisecond it's better not to you know, it's better not to cook it like that. So, when you find yourself in a situation where your teammates are dead and you are alive, hands down, the best move is to go and res them and then reapproach together as a full stack. Because, let's, let's be real, you are not gonna make much difference if you were to play mm, alone versus three. You're not gonna make much difference because the second you're gonna approach alone, the third party is gonna come, right? We absolutely dominated light and it reminds me of a terminal attack match that I played today. I just went in, took thermal vision and three tapped everyone I saw. This was very much unfun for my opponents and they definitely... What am I doing? <laughs> This is not what I wanted to do. I did not intend to throw glitch, but okay, it's okay. And then we get to throw a knife from like middle of nowhere from behind. Happens. If I were to rate light as of right now as the start of season three, I would say that light is still a pretty weak class because 150 HP, inability to really have great impact. All of that is really taking the toll on your, you know, efficiency as a player. So what are we going to do here, right? 
So we're gonna group up with my teammates. It's important not to die because this was my last coin and my teammates refused to go for me. They're like, nope, we're gonna hold this cash with our own uh, lives, right? We're gonna sacrifice our lives, but the cash out is gonna be held. I respect that. I respect that. Objective players are always great when you're playing solo queue, especially as aggressive as I do. Here, <laughs> as you can see, the guy is just absolutely not happy with my performance, even though I have, you know, six times of his damage. But as we all know, it's not about damage at all. Here, we're just gonna reapproach, and I'm thinking about ways to really have an impact, so I'm like. Let me go and grab an off angle here, because realistically my teammates are not gonna help me climbing up with zipline because they don't have it, right? So the only thing I can do is to pray to God that they are not gonna see me here. And then I'm gonna do this. Boom, boom. And then three tap. Oh, oh, yes. That was almost a three tap. I just didn't, um, didn't quite hit the spot. And here I'm just running for my life. I'm like, guys, please. Just don't lose this cash out. I'm, I'm almost there. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Here we're gonna jump here. So this is gonna save us some time. And I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna <laughs> unkun this guy and yeah, do the thing. Here I'm seeing that he is trying to res on the balcony, and I overcooked my nade a little bit. I thought the fence is gonna stop it, but it didn't. So we ended up in a situation where we would have to fight a foolish HP heavy again, and. This is not, not the most pleasant experience, to say the least. Especially in a close quarter environment. So, we wiped. And we went from being the first place to being second. So, but, luckily for us, we have zero volts tapped, which allowed us to really cook. And this is gonna be game. This is gonna be game. We're gonna go to the final round. Before I actually finish the video, I would like to show you the highlight that I had on LH1 Lite in the final round. Outside of that game was pretty boring. I tried my absolute hardest one with ring, but this didn't work. They outplayed us in every single manner. So we cooked the heavy here and it was beautiful. I love it. LH1 is definitely one of the coolest weapon you can possibly try right now. If you have any questions about gameplay, let me know in the comment section. See you in the next one. Take care.